Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in this video, we will learn about the run command. So what exactly the run command is and how we can use the uh, the run uh, shell script here. So let me go back to the uh, the Azure uh, portal here. So on the Azure uh, documentation, if you can see here, the run command feature is, uh, is it uses a virtual machine agent to run the PowerShell scripts within the Azure Windows VM. Now uh, the question comes, why I should use a run command? So here, this is uh, the benefit of this run command is given here. So now it's one of the only ways to troubleshoot and uh, you can look into your virtual machine that doesn't have an RDP or the SSH port open. Maybe because it's not given, the access is not given to you or because of the improper network or the administrative user configuration. So if a person, he doesn't have a way to go and uh, do an SSH from the local terminal or if he cannot do an RDP in case of the, uh, the Windows machine, then in that case, directly from the portal, you can go to the run command option and you can run all your uh, PowerShell scripts or whatever scripts you have for those specific VMs. Now, a couple of restrictions here, uh, if you go by this way. So if you see here, the output is limited to this number of bytes and the minimum time to run a script is about 20 seconds. So it may take 20 seconds to uh, maybe to execute the entire script. And there are, there are a couple of more restrictions given here. So one of them is this also the maximum time a script can run is 90 minutes. And after that, it will time out. And again, uh, it cannot take, uh, it, it cannot go in the interactive mode. So if you are trying to uh, get some uh, user input or something of this kind, that basically is not allowed here or it's not uh, supported in this uh, uh, in this uh, run command. So these are a couple of restrictions uh, which can be uh, seen here for this run command. So let me go back to the portal and show you how exactly we can do it. So if you see here, uh, this is my VM. And uh, once you create the VM, I went to the run command here. And in the run command, I have this run shell script which executes a uh, in this case, uh, I have a, a Linux uh, shell script, but uh, we can also run the uh, uh, Windows. Also, you can run here, and then uh, finally, you can get the uh, you can get the uh, the corresponding uh, output for that, and you can execute this. For example, say if this would be a window, and this would be my command here. So what I'm trying to do here, uh, I'm I'm trying to import away. I'm trying to uh, uh, install the IIS server here with all the uh, sub feature with the uh, for this IIS server. So this is how you can go in the run command option and try to run the command here and uh, you can go and uh, import your uh, uh, or you can run and uh, install IS server in case of Windows. So let me go back to the uh, Windows server. So right now this is my uh, Linux server. So let me create a Windows server and again come back and see how exactly we can install the IS server using the run command option here. So let me create this for you. Uh, so let's let's go and create this. This is my test VM2. And uh, let's go and change this to Windows Server. And we can go with this Azure Spot. Because the initial uh, VM which I created was the uh, the Linux VM. And uh, this is what I'm trying to create here is my RDP3389 basically used for RDP here. So right now we don't need it, but we'll, give, we'll keep as is. And then let me go and keep everything as default and let me create this and uh, come back once the vm is up and running and then we can you go to the run command and on the run command we can go and execute the is server uh, uh, commands and then install the is server on that so my server is up and running now uh, so this is my windows server and i'm trying to install the uh, the is server here this is a web server which is uh, along with the sub feature so let me run this and let's see how exactly it goes so this will take some time. So let me come back again on this once the output is there. So this is saying script is execution in progress. Script execution is in progress. And once this is up and running, let me, um, we can go and access the IS server and see how exactly it works. So we are able to, if you see here, uh, uh, I was able to install this IS server now. So if you see the success, it is true. And I was able to uh, uh, access this uh, IS server here. So now let me go back to this. If you see, I've taken the public IP here and this public IP is basically showing me me, my uh, Windows Server, my IS Server, my Internet Information Services are up and running. So this is how you can use the run command. And this this took me like pretty long time, maybe because my server was very like of a low configuration. But uh, yeah, so and again, one more restriction uh, as we saw here is like you can run only one script at a time. So it's given here like you cannot run multiple script uh, at a time. So the maximum uh, script that you can run is one script at a time. And it's like a sequential if you run one script. And then after that, once script is done, you can run a second script here. So hopefully this was useful for you guys. So let me just summarize here. So why I should go to a run command script and run my all my command where I can do an SSH to the server or I can go with the different way to do it. So one of the reason is here given by uh, Microsoft itself is if you don't have an RDP or an SSH basically port open, you can go uh, directly on the portal and use this run command to script basically a normal 
uh, a normal run command uh, maybe like in this case we have installed is server and something of this kind so hopefully this was useful for you guys and added value thanks for watching